So here we have got a question in which an angle of a triangle is given and we have to find the angle between the external bisectors of the other two angles of that triangle. Let's first understand the general situation instead of talking the specific equation, uh, specific question first. So can I not say that this angle will be equal to 180 minus 2x? The reason being this angle and this angle. They are forming a linear pair. So from here, can I not say that x plus y will come out to be equal to 180 minus z? So here we have got a question in which an angle of a triangle is given and we have to find the angle between the external bisectors of the other two angles of that triangle. So let us make a rough figure over here. So basically you have been given with a triangle whose two sides are extended something like this, right? And you have to find the angle between the external bisectors of these two angles, right? And suppose Let's first understand the general situation instead of talking the specific equation, uh, specific question first. So suppose this is W over here and we have to find the angle between the external bisectors of these two base angles, right? You can say base angles or whatever you may call, right? So suppose if this angle is X, this is also X because this is the bisector. And if this is Y, this is also Y because this is the bisector. I hope this is clear up till here. Now, can you say what is this angle guys? See, this total is 2x. So, can I not say that this angle will be equal to 180 minus 2x? The reason being this angle and this angle. They are forming a linear pair. In the same manner, can I say that this angle will be equal to 180 degrees minus 2y? I hope this thing is clear up till here. Now, can I use angle sum property in this triangle, guys? So, what will I get? W plus 180 minus 2x plus 180 minus 2y. That is coming out to be equal to 180 over here, right? So, from here, can I cancel out 180, guys? Obviously, we can do that. Now, let it be like that only, right? Now, if I take this triangle over here, I can use the angle sum property. Can I say that x plus y plus z that is equal to 180 over here as well? So from here, can I not say that x plus y will come out to be equal to 180 minus z? So x plus y is coming out to be equal to 180 minus z. Can I put it in this equation guys? So I will get w plus, see I can take minus 2 as common over here. So I'll get minus 2 into x plus y, I can write 180 minus z over here. And see this 180 is already there, plus 180. And the whole thing is coming out to be equal to 0 because see this got cancelled out. So basically we just need to simplify and solve this equation. So let us up, open up the brackets. So you see this is minus 360 plus 2z over here plus 180 and that is equal to 0. So basically we have to find z in terms of w. So what I can do over here guys, I can rearrange and can I not say that 2z will come out to be equal to, uh, see this is minus 360 plus 180. So this will give you minus 180, right? On the other side if it will go, it will give you 180 and this is minus w. So if you divide on both the sides of this equation by 2, you'll get z is equal to 90 minus w by 2. So what does it mean guys? You have to remember this result. It must be on your tips. Because if you get a question like this in an Olympiad or in any other competitive examination, you don't have time to derive all of these things. I've just derived for your satisfaction so that you understand that. But this result must be on your tips. It means if you have been given with an angle in a triangle, and you have to find the angle between the bisectors of the, the external bisectors of the other two angles of the triangle. Suppose it is Z. So Z will be equal to 90 minus half of this angle. 90 minus half of this angle. So you can find the answer in this question. So it will be 90 minus half of the given angle that is equal to 60 over here. So 60 by 2. So 90 minus 60 by 2 is 30. So the answer will be equal to 60 itself.
90 minus 30 is 60. So that is the answer and the whole derivation with respect to this question. I hope it is clear to every student watching this.